And over the Rhine, they called him Coach Mike. Young boxers and coaches looked up to him for mentorship, like Coach Daryl P. Man Jones. I wanted to do what Mike did. I wanted to train kids like he did, so he showed me the groundwork. He showed me how to be polite and how to listen to kids, because if you listen to kids, you can hear a whole lot of things. Stafford trained Jones when he boxed. You'd often hear him say, Keep your hands up. You gotta protect yourself. That was one of the ethics of boxing that Mike taught kids. The biggest impact, he says, Stafford had was making sure no one was left behind or unfed. He'd go get the kid, and go get this kid, and go get that kid in his car just to make sure he get to the gym. There's a section inside Jones's gym with memorabilia. The red pair of boxing gloves is signed by Rashi Warren, but that's not the only professional to be trained by Stafford. Everybody's coming in. His, his uh, funeral is this weekend. Folks are coming in from all over the world to support him because he was world renowned. Adrian Broner wouldn't be a four time four division world champion without Mike Stafford. Williams worked with Stafford to help promote the young boxers he trained. He knew the sport of boxing, but he knew kids and how to motivate kids. And sometimes the best boxer don't make the best coach. The community lost a mentor, but his family lost a dad and best friend. His daughter is touched by the outpouring of Facebook posts about him, but isn't surprised by the kind words. His home was considered a safe house, where if the boys in the community or any of boxers had any issues with their parents or didn't have nowhere to go, they knew that they could come to his home. Williams says it's up to him and Coach P-Man to keep Stafford's legacy alive through the Put the Guns Down, Pick Up the Gloves program that the three have worked on together. In Over the Rhine, Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. Stafford's visitation and funeral is this Saturday at Quinn Chapel AME Church. The visitation runs from 9 to 11. With the funeral to follow, there is a reception at Elks Lodge 5 from 3 to 7. What a legacy he leaves behind. Mm. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.